Hello, it's Scotsman 1984. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we should have a Dutch high energy 24 hour ration pack. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the 24 hour high energy uh, Dutch ration pack uh, that was advertised. It's uh, from Surplus and Outdoor Store again. Um, I ordered a ration pack on um, the last video from them. It was a 24 hour RCIR. Uh, and on the, the comments, RC Gusto, one of the uh, the great uh, YouTube reviewers, had uh, he'd commented saying that he, I should try the Dutch one. He'd done it before, and he, he was he, he said you won't be disappointed. Um, I had a look at his video, and oh my goodness, the amount of stuff that came with it. I don't know if this is the exact same one, but it is from the same company. Um, it is in a soft uh, bag, so I, I assume it's in a, a, a clear package. Um, so the the package that is the they normally do in a in a bubble wrap, uh, what we call a jiffy bag here. So let's open it up. Okay, it's the best way to do this one. Get out the way. Okay, so so far it is looking the same as. Uh, RC Gusto's one, it has the same, it's the same kind of bag, it has the same kind of uh, paper, uh, like a wax sort of paper uh, list, it does have the Dutch, the English and, I'm not 100% sure, the, the third language here, and contents list. Okay, so let's open it up. Okay, there's the uh, contents, it does say expiry May 2016, uh, so it's just a couple of months past that, so I think we'll be fine. I'll let you have a look at the contents there. You can pause that if you want to have a look at that more. So we'll just put that off to the side just now and uh, let's go through it. So, for Biscuits Brown, if you've never seen these before, these have been a staple of, or they were a staple of the British Army ration pack for about the last 15 to 20 years. Uh, I remember as a cadet eating these. Um, and I think you can still get them in some British army rations, but they, they don't do them as much. Um, so we've got three of them. We have a sort of accessory pouch here. We'll get to that in a minute. This side. We've got curry, one cup. I see that's soup. Oh. Uh, looks like, yeah, lemon, sorry, lemonade. Uh, a citrus powder, so it's a. I don't think it's going to be a fizzy lemonade, obviously, but uh, I think it'll be nice. So we've got instant coffee there. We've got a coffee puff whitener, a coffee whitener. Oh, stimerol, peppermint, sugar free. I've never seen so much chewing gum in a ration pack before in my life. That is a. I assume that's just a, a standard brand here with a barcode. Um, so that's a, that's a fair amount of chewing gum for a ration pack. Just like the, the British, it's uh, got a full size pack of uh, tissues. Uh, it's a goulash met. Well, yeah, I, I won't pronounce that, I don't want to be rude. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, again, it's got British instructions as well on how to do it. It is a fairly heavy pouch. Um, where are we? Let's see. Yeah, 400 grams, sorry. Uh, 400 gram pouch. Nice and heavy. It's got it open at the bottom, so it will stand. Um, so it's a goulash. Uh, tea bags. Uh, beef bouillon. Uh, Chocolate, 40 grams, seems to be fine. Oh, uh, cocoa beverage powder, uh, very square, so it's been lying against someone square. Um, but yeah, the powder's in there and moving about. Um, Ardennes pate, another Ardennes pate. Um, Mexican chili bean pate. Uh, tuna pate. Another coffee and tomato soup. Another cocoa beverage powder. Uh, 
fruit spread. It does say the uh, patty fruit, so it's a fruit spread, maybe like a jam. And, oh, 100% sure, jam confitura, I'm 100% sure, but it's a, a jam. And the Katie Kip Chotel, whatever that is, I will find out. Bag. It's in the successive pouch. We have matches. And the matches, again, they're in their own little bag there. Mentos. Uh, we have salt. Sambal, which is a liquid there, and it's spicy red chilli sauce. I have pepper, sugar, sugar, two toothpicks, sugar, sugar, and dextro ta dextrose tablets with vitamin C. So there we go. Okay, so there's everything laid out. Um, on the back of the, uh, the leaflet that came with it, it does have directions for use for the beef tea, instant soup, instant coffee, tea, lemon flavoured beverage, the cocoa powder, it tells you what to do. At uh, the bottom it's got the salt, um, I thought this was interesting. Also used against strong transpiration. Salt is also suitable for brushing teeth. Yeah, it's a, a first on me, I uh, can't imagine anything worse in the world than brushing my teeth with salt. Um, I'd love a comment below if you've ever done that, if you've ever tried it, that'd be great to hear. Um, I can't imagine that would be, be very nice. I'd maybe just try the, uh, the chocolate powder there. <laughs> okay, so I've broke them into uh, roughly three meals. Obviously there's there's a bit of extra. Um, I, I don't know if you'd want two cho you know hot chocolates in one day, um, but what I've done is I've split them into rough meals for the breakfast. I thought maybe biscuit brown with some pate and jam. Um, you might want the beef bouillon. Um, the chocolate, the, the chewing gum, sorry, dextrose tablets, mentos, obviously you wouldn't have them all with your breakfast unless you were a, uh, crazy. Um, but you would maybe start them after your breakfast and have them right through the day. So I thought, smallest meal, I'll just I'll let you see these um, and I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, taste test to let you know. And um, with that, because it's the smallest meal, obviously these have got uh, the, the entrees with them. So the... Um, I put a bag of biscuits brown with each because that's what you maybe, maybe do, you maybe gun dog style it and uh, sprinkle some in or you could eat it with your, your biscuits brown tea, soup and lemon uh, you might want a nice glass of juice with your, your lunch a um, bit of pate there with your biscuits brown some uh, uh, jam, uh, sorry the fruit uh, pate paste um, there's the Mexican uh, pate and there's the, the soup maybe the hot chocolate and then obviously you maybe later on you might want a hot chocolate you might want to keep your chocolate and have that you might want to keep your biscuits obviously you might not have your biscuits all your biscuits so that pack might last right through the day it just depends so you might have patty you know later on at night obviously it's an army ration pack and um, if you're on patrol it is up to you I'm just wanting to show you as best I can into the into me as easy as possible um, but obviously if you're on patrol you might be sitting at 3 in the morning eating your biscuits brown with some uh, tuna patty um, and a couple of the extras tablets to keep you going. So we'll break this down um, probably into two, two videos. I'll cover this in this video and then in the next video we'll we'll, we'll do this. Um, I think that'll be the easiest way to show you because it is uh, quite a big ration pack um, and obviously I, I don't want to eat all that much in one day because I uh, I think I might uh, overdose on the calories. So we'll, uh, we'll jump into breakfast and then we'll see you in the next video for uh, lunch and dinner. Okay so for this one, as I said, I, breakfast for me, out of all this, I, I'd probably have the, the biscuits brown with some patty, some jam. Um, you could have a soup, if it's, especially if it's a cold morning, a nice uh, thing of soup. We'll try the beef pool on in this one, um, and we're going to have a cup of coffee. We'll try the chocolate, the chewing gum, the minute was in the dextrose tablets, just in this one. Like I said, you'd probably eat them through the day um, to keep you going, um, or through the night, whatever. Um, or you might say want the chocolate after your main meal or after your lunch. Depends on the kind of mood you are uh, in and the situation you're in. Okay, so let's uh, play some stuff up. Sorry. So biscuits brown. You can 
kind of see the ingredients there and the allergy advice. So like I say, Biscuits Brown are uh, the manufactured in the UK for Nairns Oatcakes Limited, which are uh, they're a big oatcake uh, company, um, very popular uh, oatcakes up in Scotland. Um, I've been I've eaten these for about the past fifteen years, um, on and off uh, through ration packs. I absolutely love them. They're great with patty. Um, they, let's see, they have completely not survived the trip here because they're not in a box. Um, so yeah. So obviously they're, they're normally a good size bis uh, biscuit. Um, use about that size. Uh, but yeah, so crumbs. <laughs> okay, so we have the Ardennes patty. Um, on Google Translate, it did come up with the, that it's pork. Um, I've never had Ardennes patty before that I can think of. Um, it seems sealed. Still, uh, the, uh, there's no leakage there. So let's hope that's okay. It's a 25 gram uh, pack. There we go. So uh, it looks good. Oh, it has a familiar smell to it. it has a very familiar smell to it. Um, it's actually, it smells quite nice. It does smell quite nice. It does. Some people don't like the uh, don't like patty. Uh, each their own, but in most European ration packs, they tend to have it. So it's uh, yeah, it's certainly something I've got used to. Um, so we have the the jam. I assume it's a like a plum or a damson. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's not a fruit that I eat. Um, oh, it's really nice. It's just tasting the the juice off the top there. Sorry, I taste really nice. I can't can't quite place. It's really nice. So it's really nice. Uh, so. I said I make the coffee with this one, so we've got the freeze dried instant coffee. Uh, does say dissolve contents in 105 ml of hot water. I'll uh, obviously with all coffee, it's to your own taste, really. Not a strong taste. Uh, not sorry, taste. Not a strong smell to it. Um, but uh, it's nice. It looks nice and fresh coffee. Um, with sugar. Oops. And we have the coffee creamer, coffee whitener, um, 2.5 grams and all the uh, ingredients of what it is, actually is are in Dutch. There we go. Excuse me, my seat's broken. Okay, so it says 125 mils for the, uh, it says beef bouillon, however it does say um, on the thing here, it describes it as instant beef tea, uh, 250 mils, sorry, 250, I've just said, sorry, excuse me, ignore me, 250, I'm thinking of the, the coffee there. Okay, so the beef bouillon, it says on there as well. Um, don't think I'm, I'll be a big fan of this, so I'm, I'm not going to. Oops, I'm not going to bother putting it into a a cup. I'll taste it with the the spoon because I I don't think I'm I'm a good big fan of this. And I am using an MRE spoon because it was what was to hand, as there's nothing in this pack. Forty grams of the uh, the chocolate there. If you can make those calories out. Oh, wow! That's uh, been a long while since I've seen a chocolate ration that wasn't white. <laughs> um, focus. 
So it smells sm smells more like dark chocolate. I suppose that's plain. Um, I'm gonna open these dextrose tablets. Fucking. Uh, So these are 35 gram pack. Uh, looks like it's uh, made in Holland, and it's got the vitamin C in it. Doesn't smell of anything. And we've got the Mentos. I, I think drop. I think it's just a uh, standard mint Mento. your standard menu and the biggest pack of chewing gum I've seen in a in a ration pack even for a 24 hour ration pack it's a peppermint ice here sugar free it's all I assume this is one you would just buy at a shop um, 20 2011-2015 so We'll see what it's like. Okay, so right, let's get into it. Let's try the patty first. So the Ardennes patty. It's um, it's it's nice. It's a quite a smooth, creamyish. It's not a very strong flavour. It's not strong flavoured at all. Um. It's a really nice patty. It's not overpowering. Um, some of the patties I've had before in ration packs can be quite strong. It's quite nice. I quite like that. Let's try some covering jam. Let's try the jam. Let's see. It's not too sweet. Um, strong flavour. To the fruit there, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. We'll try the the chocolate. Um, it's nice. It's not too sugary. It's uh, it's not a strong dark chocolate. Um, but it doesn't taste like a milk chocolate. Definitely somewhere in between. Um, I think if you're a dark chocolate, if you like dark chocolate, I think you'd like it. But I think if you if you didn't like dark chocolate, I think you would still uh, you would still like that. Before we go to anything too overpowering, we'll just try the uh, the coffee. Yeah, it's nice. It's not too uh, not strong. Um, it's quite a nice coffee. And we'll try. I'll try the beef bouillon. It's uh, sorry the, the the beef tea. Um, you can see some herbs floating about in there. Um, well, let's, uh, let's try it. Oh, no, I was totally wrong. I really like that. <laughs> oh, a little bit salty. It's uh, it's more like a stock to me. Um, it's quite nice. It's uh, it's it's more like a, it's a beef stock. Um, doesn't taste too soupy either. Um, yeah, it's, it's different. It's not what I expected. I thought it'd be more of a, a strong, beefy, m veggie mite kind of. Somewhere along those lines, I thought that'd be, be more what it's like. I really actually like that. It's quite nice. It's. Uh, I think the, the crackers in there would be quite nice. Um, vitamin C tablet. Uh, the dextrose. I've had dextrose tablets before, very um, uh, obviously sugary, uh, just disappears kind of, melts in the mouth, very hard to, to bite into in the first place, but yeah, there's not there's not really a flavour to that at all, um, that's quite nice, I'll taste the, the, the chewing gum, very soft, strong flavour there, it's, uh, clearing out the sinuses, it's quite nice, yeah. It's a nice chewing gum and it'd be nice uh, 
while you're on patrol. And uh, obviously, a mental is a mental. <laughs> yep, tastes fine, just as a mental would be. Um, yeah, so a very light breakfast. Some might have had the, the, the chicken a hot dish uh, for the breakfast. This would have done me with the patty. Maybe have another, the other patty, and um, depends on how hungry you are. Um, obviously, you might not be having the, the extra tablets of chocolate or Mentos. So maybe just patty and jam and some soup. Um, out of the, the, the three soups, um, or if you'd call them soups, I'd, I'd say this would be more of a, a breakfast day, just because I'm not a big fan of tomato soup for like in the morning. It's, it's definitely something to have later on. Um, and the curry soup, yeah, it's definitely something to, I'd have later on. It's not a, a breakfast thing. So if you're going to split them up, I'd, I'd probably have this one in the morning. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's breakfast to the 24-hour high energy Dutch ration pack. Um, everything on the content seems to add up. So uh, we'll get on to what I class as the lunch and the main meal in the next video, uh, which should be coming up. Um, so again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.